Use of Summary The QRH summaries have been created to help the flight crew perform actions in the case of electrical emergency configuration or dual hydraulic failure. They are summaries of different QRH procedures. Apply first ECAM actions. Once the ECAM actions are completed, the pilot monitor refers to the crew section of the summary which highlights the remaining systems, the main limitations, and the flight capability of the aircraft. This section helps to assess the situation and to select the appropriate runways for landing. As indicated in the crew section, you should refer to the corresponding chapter of the QRH for the evaluation of an increased fuel consumption and to the performance application for the landing performance computation at the intended airport. This allows the flight crew to make the appropriate decision. As always, the approach preparation begins with the review of the status page. Then, the section's approach, landing, and go-around should be used to support the approach preparation. When appropriate, these sections include the landing with slats or flaps jammed procedure and the landing gear gravity extension procedure. The section's approach, landing, and go-around should be used to perform the threats mitigation part of the arrival briefing, cross-checking, as always, the status page. To perform the approach, the flight crew should refer to the approach section. When the aircraft is in final configuration, the flight crew can rapidly review the landing and go-around sections. As a short reminder, braking, nose wheel steering, reversers, landing gear retraction. However, do not perform a new briefing. Before the final approach, the pilot monitor should check the status page and check that all the approach procedures have been completed.